architectural discourse flows from questions that arise such as building designs, aesthetic qualities, environmental performance, space and program organization and functionality for the sake of art, politics and lifestyle. But does architecture respond to a qualitative human existence? Human evolution researchers claim that the development of human compassion began almost six million years ago when the ancestors of the human species experienced the first awakenings of empathy. Homo sapiens have been interacting with each other since for procreation. Research also shows where newborn babies have been fed through a glass cube as opposed to ones that were touched when feeding died soon enough. It was realized that human interaction was necessary for their survival. What if architecture can stimulate new ways of interaction and materialization of ideas for deeper human connections that has been lost in the urban world? Patchworks, a team of young programmatic entrepreneurs, are on a mission to answer those very questions. It is more than a social engineering. Their quest is to architecturally insert a well-designed new program specific to the site that can create new and sustainable human interactions. Their strategy is implemented by using a space and time networking system according to two of Chuni's theories. One theory suggests that architecture is inhabited through a sequence of events and program superimposed on unrelated sequence of spaces. Another theory suggests that any architectural situation is dependent on the relation of space, time and movement. To test this out, patchworks are on a lookout for various dead sites. The first found, a 200 meter long travelator built to move people from one end of the domain car park to Hyde Park in an express time of 5 minutes and so they produced the travel data. The travel data stitches the ideas of a transport path and the conflicting social event of speed dating. It uses the restriction of time and horizontal motion to recreate an innovative architectural program. A speed dating event is one response where the travel data has potential to be revitalized. Invented in Los Angeles in 1988, speed dating as a way of, for marriage-focused Jewish singles to meet. Speed dating has since spread throughout the world as a revolutionary way for busy single people to meet each other without any of the stigma associated with traditional dating agencies. The original format involved men sitting along one side of a long table with the women lined up along the other, every five minutes the men shifting along one space. After 22 people participating in the travel dater event, and through a series of a poll of questions, we found the following for the space. 77% rated as being extremely comfortable and 33% were uncomfortable. 78% said the travel data was helpful and fun for dating. 22% said it might be helpful. The results? 63% would go on a second date. 90% rated it as a success, with only 10% rating a failure. Our findings show that through space, time and motion, it is possible to add new value to a space and to create new social connections. Travel data responded to the challenge of developing a new program that could be weaved in a dead space. These previously unattractive pockets can become hubs for new and niche activities within the city.